Thank you for joining me here in the Integration Lab, where I could present to you how dedicated we are to modernizing the equipment we will inspire the future generations of scientists and engineers with. This is to tell you everything about Dignity. Dignity is our educational rover that was built and upgraded over the last years by multiple batches of summer interns. The most recent update being Dignity Plus that was built by students at the Technical School of Innsbruck. Dignity Plus brought new multiple upgrades to the control station, which you will hear about in today. Dignity in its current form is able to be remotely controlled by our operator via the aforementioned control station. The operator can move the rover forwards, backwards, and steer it, control the robotic arm, as well as to talk and listen through the rover itself. Aside from that, rover also has frontal and rear cameras, which the operator can switch between on the exact mentioned control panel. The rover also has the uh, two solar panels on its sides, which can actively recharge the rover, as well as two batteries that are usually during operation fully charged, which give it a long lifespan during operations. The mentioned robotic arm has four degrees of manipulation with a robotic gripper tool point on the top, which allows it to manipulate different rocks and objects that students may want to explore. The arm itself has a camera as well as a flashlight, so students can light up stuff and see what they're grabbing. The control panel, which you can see here, has clearly labeled sections for different control panels with the status lights, the power, the computer control, warning lights, movement joystick, camera control, and the arm control. It also has two MFCDs, the left one displaying the rover telemetry, with the right one displaying the cameras, both the front or the back camera, or the arm camera of the actual rover. I hope that we see you at our next educational event.